Welcome back. Let's talk about Pmart Retail. Uh, the stock is down about 2 odd percent and understandably so given the weakness that the company reported in their second quarter numbers. The revenues grew about 8.5% but same store sales growth was down by about 4% and the EBITDA of the company was all but eroded with a cut of 99%. In the last 12 months itself, the stock has been an underperformer underlying the weakness that we're seeing in consumer sentiment. The question is, when and where do we see recovery? Let's welcome Anand Agarwal who joins in from Vmart Retail to detail the quarter that went by, but more importantly, the quarters that one is looking ahead. Thanks a lot, Anand, for joining in. You've been talking about this uh, underlying weakness that we're seeing in consumer sentiment, but at the same time, the last time you joined us, you said that uh, you know the first 15 days post Pitrupaksh were good as well. Now we're speaking in uh, you know the first week of November, just a week ahead of Diwali. Could you tell us how sales in the first half of this quarter so far have been? And to that extent, what can one expect in the second half for both revenue as well as same store sales growth? Yeah, good morning. Uh, you're absolutely right. I think with the shift in the festive calendar from quarter two to quarter three, a bulk of the festive sales, uh, which predominantly forms a very strong part of our portfolio, uh, has moved into quarter three. And the first half of quarter three has so far begun quite well. Uh, we are seeing very robust footfall growth. We are seeing good amount of uh, you know traction coming in all parts of the country, especially UP, which is our you know core market. Uh, UP Bihar, I think uh, they are doing quite well. Uh, even Durga Puja, which has went by uh, very recently, has been a good start. So overall, I, I have a sense that you know we are definitely seeing uh, far greater traction and far uh, better performance uh, at least in quarter three. And quarter three, in any case, uh, coincides not only uh, from a festive shift but also the onset of the winters in the northern India, northern parts of the India, uh, and also a very heavy uh, wedding season. So all in all, I can only hope and wish that you know quarter three becomes uh, you know the the uh, the strong performing quarter for us. Uh, traditionally, in the past years, it has always accounted for almost uh, 70, 80 percent of the full year profitability uh, and almost uh, 35, 40 percent of sales. So that way, I think this year, in fact, it is going to be much higher uh, if all goes well. All right, hi, Mr. Agarwal. Uh, good morning. Thanks so much for joining in. Well, give us an uh, give us a couple of numbers though. Uh, SSSG growth, I think, in quarter two was close to around 4%. For the second half of the year, what will the SSSG growth be? And also for both your verticals, that is VMAT as well as Unlimited, which is a quiet entity, growth wasn't that great. For the second half, in revenue terms, what will the growth be? I think, Nigel, on the on a full year basis, what we are targeting is, uh, you know, mid single digit same store sales growth. Uh, but more mm -hmm. importantly, what we have been, you know, pushing towards is a volume led growth. Uh, we've taken a lot of price correction uh, in uh, almost all parts of our, of our portfolio, uh, especially in South India, uh, where the price cuts have been as deep as almost like 20%. And we have seen, uh, you know, more than 10% uh, volume growth, even in the quarter two, uh, you know, just gone by. Uh, and therefore, we are quite hopeful that we should be able to offset uh, a lot of uh, the price cuts with more volume growth, therefore yielding into same store sales growth. But on a full year basis, I think we should still target, you know, mid teens, uh, you know, mid single digit uh, same store sales growth. All right, mid single digit same store sales growth. You said that the third quarter usually accounts for nearly 35% of your sales. Now, assuming that the first half, because of the shift in the festive season, uh, is about 35 to 40% of your sales, can we look at a number of over 3,000 crores for the entire year in terms of revenue? Um, because, you know, right now you're at around 1250 odd crores. Last year was close to 2500 odd crores. Um, if the second half has to be 60% of your sales, then obviously you'd be closer to 2700 to 3000 crores, that range. Would that be a fair assumption, Anand? No, I think you are very good in mathematics, uh, but I can only say that, you know, we would target 20% uh, uh, you know, growth over last year and that roughly would equate to what you are saying, uh, give or take a couple of hundreds here or there. Uh, but yes, that is what we would want to target. Uh, I cannot comment on the number, but definitely, uh, you know, we internally would like to see at least 20% growth year on year. Okay. All right. Uh, Mr. Agarwal, what about expected store addition for FI24? Uh, could you give us, you could break it up for us as well between VMart Unlimited. And what is the addition you're looking at? Any scale back of plans? No, there's no scale back. We are quite confident of the overall trajectory and uh, we are guided towards 50 plus uh, new store openings in this year. We've already opened uh, almost 37 so far this year. 
in fact, 13 of them have come in the last 30 days only. So in preparation for the festive, in preparation for Diwali and Chhat, uh, uh, we've opened a lot of stores and the team is still, you know, buoyant on opening at least uh, five, six more stores uh, in the next week or 10 days. So I think the trajectory of around 50 plus stores for the full year seems, uh, you know, uh, possible. All right, uh, 50, 60 stores this year. Anand, uh, your thoughts on uh, Lime Road, you know, how far is it away from breaking even? And at a steady state, what kind of quarterly run rate can we expect from this? Largely because uh, now even vmartretail.com has been completely transformed into Lime Road. So with all these things having worked, you've put a good couple of quarters behind post this acquisition. Things should now start looking good, right? So just wanted to understand from a quarterly run rate standpoint, what would the revenue be like and by when does it break even? So Lime Road strategy is largely, uh, you know, a fashion-led strategy where we are trying to ensure that the omni uh, fulfillment for a customer, which is offline to online and offline online to offline, is fulfilled through the marketplace model of Lime Road. Uh, we've shifted completely vmartretail.com or transition vmartretail.com into Lime Road in end August. And heartful to heartful to say that you know we've not lost a single rupee of sales. In fact, we gained a lot of sales, almost like 20 25 percent sales. Additional, we got through Lime Road, and uh, uh, so so far it's moving in the right trajectory, in the right direction. Uh, we're guided towards a full break even, you know, by the uh, by FI 25, which is the next financial mm -hmm. year. Uh, first half of the year has, uh, as planned, has been slightly, you know, more loss bearing. But I think going forward, quarter on quarter, we should see significant improvements coming in from the Lime Road business. On the Just top quick... line for Lime Road, uh, I think uh, we're not building this up as a, you know, a 5,000 crore rupee business or a 10,000 crore rupee business. What we are building is a platform for fulfilling the value uh, fashion requirement for, uh, you know, tier two, tier three towns. And uh, I think the revenue trajectory should still remain uh, roughly around 200 to 250 crores for the full year in terms of the, you know, the commission revenue. All right, Anand, thank you. Always a pleasure speaking with you. Wish you good luck for the festive season, the third quarter, the second half that you're speaking about. That's about Vmart. Uh, opened lower after a big correction over the last 12 months, has recovered a tad from the lows. The management confident of achieving 20% revenue growth this year with mid-single digit SSSG as well and improving metrics. With that, take a short break. On the other side, we have another consumer company to discuss their numbers with. NH Bansali of Imami joins in.